All right, guys, time to talk about hotels and probably one of my favorite hotels. Um, let's say you're staying over in the Universal area. Maybe, uh, you know, you took a bus over to, you know, maybe Universal and you're at Universal all day. Maybe you stopped at Fat Tuesdays and, uh, you know, had three or four or however many drinks. You're going to need a place to stay. One of the hotels that's pretty close to Universal that we stay at every single year is Cabana Bay. So I figured I'd do a quick review of it, let you guys know what I think. First of all, when you walk in, the lobby's huge. It's uh, it's very inviting, very open, very airy. Um, there's somebody there pretty much everywhere you look to help you. So they have the concierge service, they have a bunch of people at the front desk service, and then, like I said, if you're going to Universal, they got your vacation planning center where you can get your tickets, your fast passes, all your kinds of stuff. Outside... The hotel was super clean. We never had any issues. All the doors worked. Um, maintenance people were on top of any issues they had. Like I said, very clean hotel. Um, there's a Starbucks there. A lot of people, you know, in the morning, I need to get a coffee, getting ready to go to the parks, got to have a Starbucks. There are two bars, both serve food. One is on what I'm calling the main side, which is where the lobby is, and the other one is on the back side of the hotel. Um, where the food court is um, where all the dining happens. So I'll get into the dining in a minute. The main pool by the lobby has a water slide. Unfortunately, it was down when we were there, but, you know, stuff happens. When you're walking through the lobby, like I said, there's plenty of people there to help you. There's no shortage of guest services. Everything was very, very smooth. So they got the Universal Gift Shop. So once you get all checked in, you can go in there, check out all the cool stuff they got. They got all your Halloween Horror Night stuff, your shirts, your lanyards, your cups, anything that you need for Halloween Horror Nights or forgot to bring for Halloween Horror Nights, they probably have it there. It's a really cool store. Actually have a lot of good stuff in there. Um, kind of reminds me of some of the Disney stores at the Disney hotels. I think they carry a little bit more stuff for the event type um stuff they're doing like if you go to some of the disney hotels they don't have mickey's not so scary stuff all over the place i was very very happy to see that they had all like the ghostbuster stuff the stranger things stuff for all the haunted houses over at halloween horror nights which is why i stay at cabana bay we're here at cabana bay sitting in the pool relaxing it's a uh, pretty huge pool um, we're also on the side that has the lazy river and then there's two hot tubs here also uh, it's a pretty big place. The uh, suites are pretty awesome. We had seven people in one suite, no issues. And like I said, it has two main pools, one with a water slide, one without a water slide. And then on this side, the side with the pool without the water slide, it's actually got a lazy river on this side too. And I'll, uh, we'll get you guys on the lazy river here in a little bit. So the pool at one side of it is like a beach entry. And then on the other side, it's a stair entry, the side closest to the hot tub. Like I said, there is a bar out there. They got your drinks, your pool type hand foods, nothing crazy. This pool is fairly shallow. It's only about five feet deep at its deepest. So even small children and um, you know adults that don't swim very well can feel pretty comfortable in this pool. Um, they have restrooms there, so that's not an issue. Restrooms, you can change right by the pool, no big deal. That's pretty standard, pretty much any of the major deluxe resorts. They've got a splash area for the kids if uh, the kid doesn't feel comfortable in the swimming pool you can definitely take them to the splash pad let them hang out in there then they got the hot tub now the hot tub was awesome super hot i will say that if you have a small child maybe not the best hot tub to put them in i think it was around 103 to 104 degrees plenty of room for plenty of people like i said we had a group of seven all right so after you've hung out in the hot tub you take the bus you've been over at fat tuesdays you went to halloween horror nights until like one in the morning where are you going to stay? You need to look at the room. You need to see what's going on. Like I said, we had seven people here in one room. And then we also had the adjoining room. We had some more people, buddies of mine. We take a big group over to Halloween Horror Nights. Has a nice fridge, sink. There's like a whole bar area. There's a fold-out couch. Turns into a bed. It's got one TV there and then a big set of dresser drawers. You can put all your stuff in there. We had plenty of room. There's also some chairs there on the other side and some small tables bathroom was super nice there's another flat screen tv sitting on the wall there like i said the bathroom was very nice tub shower combo sink inside the bathtub area and then there's another sink just outside the bathtub area 
so you can have multiple people doing whatever they need to do and then obviously you have your toilet area and the second uh, bathroom door over there so it's kind of separated um, the beds were very comfortable we didn't have any issues there there's like I said plenty of space for storage there's another huge closet we had all kinds of stuff in there like I said with seven people we had plenty of luggage I had all my camera gear we had all kinds of stuff last we were on the fifth floor we had a pretty good view of the pool checking out the lazy river downstairs they got a bunch of seating area where if you just want to lay back relax read a book whatever you can sit by the fire which we did we got home from halloween or not horror nights so it was pretty late we uh, made some drinks went down sat by the fire had a good time it was awesome pool was great i believe it's open from 8 a.m to 11 p.m so it's plenty of time to enjoy the pool shouldn't have any issues there the Lazy River was kind of intermittent while we were there. They had some issues and the Lazy River was up and down a few times. They had it kind of closed down for a while, but we were able to get in it. As you can see, very, very fun. We had a great time in the Lazy River. Um, my son had a great time. It's fairly shallow. You shouldn't have any issues with small kids. You can buy tubes there or you can bring your own. Obviously people, the tubes there are pretty expensive, okay? It's not, it's a resort, okay? Nothing's cheap. So just keep that in mind, you know, if you're kind of swinging by a Target or Walmart, you know, maybe pick up your own tube because those are like 15 bucks. So we did buy the ones there. We didn't bring them. You know, that was kind of our fault, but it is what it is. 15 bucks is 15 bucks. I mean, when you're spending the kind of money that you're spending to stay at a resort and go to all these cool things, you know, what's 15 bucks? Or a long lazy river. It's got a bunch of rock features, water features. It was really cool. The Bay Liner, which is the diner there, very good. They're open late for Halloween Horror Nights, so even at night, you can get good food there when you come home and drunken one, two in the morning. Breakfast was awesome. They got an omelet station, they got sandwich stations, they got bacon and eggs and yogurts and cereals, and if you can't find something there, you got a serious problem. Now, after you've done breakfast, you slide on upstairs. If you want, you can take it backwards like I did, but you don't have to. Upstairs on the second floor, uh, right above Starbucks area and even the Bayliner Diner area, they got a pretty sweet thing. Not a lot of people know about it. I mean, some people do, some people don't. They got a bowling alley up there. It's got like nine or ten lanes. Um, we had a great time up there. Uh, bowling alley closes at like 11. They got food there. You can order drinks there. It's a little pricey. You're staying at a resort. It's just the way it is. Deal with it. Um, they also had an arcade. The arcade was great. Some of the arcade prizes were like fantastic. I remember my uh, son, he got a this really cool drone as a arcade prize, which I thought was crazy because we've been to other arcades and uh, you got to have like a million tickets to get that kind of stuff. And so I, I was pretty impressed with their prize selection for the arcade. And then they have a really good selection of games. You can uh, you can definitely stay down there a few hours and not you know be too bored. Again. It's a resort. It is a little pricey. It's not going to be like 50 cent games walking in there. So, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, you're staying at a resort. Spend a little money. It's not that big of a deal. You're on vacation. Relax. You know what I mean? Uh, arcade. Yeah. All right. So we're checking out of the uh, hotel today. Um, hotel was great. Wow. It's a really close stay to the parks. Uh, one of the things is, is you don't get the transportation like some of the other parks where you can go on the waterway on the little boats. Um, the buses take a little longer. The pools here are much better than the other hotels. There's two huge regular pools and then there's also a lazy river here. Two hot tubs, I believe. Um, the breakfast was great at the Bay Liner and then, like I said, the bus stop is pretty convenient. You just walk down to the bus stop and they got buses running like every 15 minutes or so taking you to and from the park. So um, I get a whole review up, let you guys take a look. Um, the hotel's great. Halloween Horror Nights was great. I don't have any complaints about anything, so um, if you need a place to stay and you're in the Universal Area, Cabana Bay, pick it.